My name is Tarek Gafori. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Fairfax, Virginia. So my job situation, I was a personal trainer um, and I still currently am a, a trainer as well. So I was just uh, looking for different routes and what I wanted to do. Um, I was kind of like tired of training so much and how much time consuming it was to like actually physically be in the gym all the time. That's why I was like looking for something different. I believe the biggest struggle for me was like the just the time management of everything and trying to because at one point it did get overwhelming. It was like a whole lot of things like coming up at once because Sonny does a really good job of like breaking things down in components, teaching you Java, teaching you the technical, and then you still have to learn the front end, the UI, the back end, API, database, all those sorts of things and meshing all that together. That's when it became like super overwhelming. But what, what I try to do was like, I try to prioritize things and try to work on one thing one day, like one or two hours, maybe three hours, and just try to focus on that and then move on to another thing for the next day. So that's how I was able to like prioritize everything. My motivation was like, obviously like, yeah, the, like the, the pay uh, was something like that was definitely a factor, but it was more so like, I wanted to prove myself that I can actually do this. Because for me, I've always been able to be a trainer, but I wanted to show that to myself, I can do something else. That's what it was for me. And like, there were times where I was like, you know what, I mean, I don't think I can do this. But I was like, you know what, I started it, I have to finish it. And that like, a little fun fact is actually, I used to play professional basketball. So I try to implement that into this so that way I can actually finish it out. It just, um, when it comes to work ethic, work ethic, um, putting my head down, determination, and just like, you know, practicing over and over and over again. Kind of like, you know, shooting a jump shot. You're not gonna get better at it just doing it one day. You have to keep doing it over and over and over again in order for you to be better at it. So that's, you know, ultimately what happened. Definitely discipline was like something that I definitely had to bring out 100%. So um, it's kind of funny. So I was uh, actually training one of my clients and she told me about um, Sideo because I remember one day, like I, I just saw her like drive up all the time in this nice Range Rover. And then she would like come in working out with like her Cardi bracelets on. And then one day I just asked her, I was like, what do you do? And then she said, I code. And I was like, okay, I bet you're like really smart in order for you to do that. And she's like, no, honestly, you don't have to be super smart. Um, just like, you know, basic math, you know, algebra one, like that sort of thing. And, um, and that's when I was like, okay, was like, what, what do you have to do? And then she told me about uh, Sadio. And then um, when she told me about, it, I looked it up and at first I was skeptical at first. But then I was just like, I did a little bit more research. I watched a free seminar with uh, Kazat, and that's when I found out I was like, okay, this is a legit program. So that's when I like um, bought it, and then now we're here. If, if it is possible, yes, like just focus on it because those seven months, that seven somewhat span, I thought I had like all the time in the world, but you really like do have to hunker down and you have to just to like, get the work done. So it because it, it, it is going to catch up to you. So if like you, it, I, I mean like. People make it work though. You know, I made it work with my situation. I know some single single mom, single dad, they're gonna make it work with their situation. Everyone's situation is gonna be a little bit different. But I feel like everybody can, well, if you are able to, you should just hunker down and just like focus on just school. Yeah, uh, 100%. I mean, anybody who's like, you know, looking to change up their like their career path or like unhappy like what they have currently, they want them to do something else and branch out, it's definitely a good thing to do. And I'll definitely tell them about it. 100%. So going back to the, my fitness background, I do have a sport management degree. Uh, got that from George Mason University. Um, but other than that, I never continued any uh, further education to just have that. Absolutely not. For, for this, like I found out that you don't have to, you just have to have a good general understanding of like how to think logically uh, when it comes to this. So that's why, like for me personally, I thought I, I only count the 10, 10 reps or 20 reps as a personal trainer. So, you know, when I was able to like, create frameworks and everything, I was like, you know, shocked with within myself. So no, it doesn't matter like what type of background you have, diploma you have, you can you can go right into it. So we, we they put put out put us out in like in groups and on our Discord chats. And so we were able to make I was able to make relationships with people like from Milwaukee, uh, Chicago, Pennsylvania. And we still keep in contact with each other to this day. I like to be in person. So it it, it took me a kind of a while like, you know, get used to like to the remote and like trying to get to know everyone's personalities through a monitor, but you you get used to it. Um, but personally, I would feel like it would be better if that way, uh, if we were in person.
I come from a personal training background. Doesn't matter what type of background that you have. Anybody can be able to do it. Then I can speak that for myself. Again, uh, I can only get count of like 10, 20 reps. So for me to like actually like create those type of frameworks and learn front end, back end testing in Java and all technical type of questions, anybody can do this. When I first got out in the job market, I was only in for about one week. And so I, I'm gonna be honest, I think I only applied for like 30 jobs. And so one job uh, contacted me and that job I got the job with. So I interviewed with them and I got the job from them. Um, so that, that was like, and they were a very good company. They allowed me to travel, work remote. Um, so they have really good benefits and it was a pay that I really wanted too. So everything worked out fine. Honestly, I'm seeing a whole lot of places that are having a whole bunch of, like there, there's job listings all the time. I see them like, you know, something refresh and then there's always something new all the time. Um, wh wherever it is. And like, you know, most, and all companies now, they just wanna work remote anyway, so it doesn't matter. So like you can be out in like California, Texas, Alabama, Wisconsin, whatever the case may be, you just apply for it and it's just gonna be remote regardless. But yeah, it is, it is hot right now. I am happy with my salary, extremely happy. So like I said before, like it's going back to like, you know, like my, my profession, right? Personal training. You can't get better at push-ups if you don't do push-ups. So you, if you don't keep doing them, you're not gonna get better with them. It's the same exact thing. The same thing, same thing like, you know how your muscles work? You know, you can't get those bigger. It's the same thing as, as your mind. You gotta get your mind stronger too, just by doing it. So every day you do have to, uh, all the time, repeat it, get it done, two or three hours, one hour, 30 minutes, whatever it is, get it done every day. Um, so what, what I actually do is, so again, like after my whole day was done, so when it was time for me to train myself, I would actually like put in my AirPods and actually listen to Mukhtar and all the instructors about soft skills, technical skills while I was working out. So yeah, every day I had to do that. So for somebody who's just starting off with Sideo, I believe that don't be overwhelmed, just take it day by day. But again, this is for somebody who's like just starting off and also for the person who's already in it already. Um, don't be discouraged ever. Don't ever be discouraged. It's okay, like there are gonna be days where you're not gonna wanna do it. You're gonna just like wanna turn your mind off and just be like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. That was me, honestly. Um, but you just have to hunker down, like I said, and just like, just put your foot through it and then get through the door and it is, it is gonna be fine. It showed me how much potential I really have within myself. So what I mean by that is, is I always thought I was just gonna be a personal trainer for the rest of my life. But then I was like, you know what? I'm tired of doing this. Let me see what else I can do. So it was like kind of like, you know, a blessing that my client was able to show me this. And like that way I was able to implement all my, you know, fit, rather than physical, my mental into this now. So that was one thing that like, I know now I can approach anything. I can, you know, attack anything. I can take on anything.